So, Chris Hemsworth recently admitted that he thinks Thor Love and Thunder was too silly. This article is from Gizmodo. Thor Love and Thunder star Chris Hemsworth on movie's mixed reception. It just became too silly. Though last year's Thor Love and Thunder was far from a flop, it actually performed very well at the box office and wasn't exactly lambasted by critics, it sits at 63% on Rotten Tomatoes, it was not well received by the majority of MCU fans. Taika Waititi's Thor Love and Thunder injected a lot more comedy into the franchise, but the perception seems to be that his follow-up overdid it on the humour, to the point that it was simply too difficult to take the story which also dealt with some pretty heavy emotional themes, seriously. The article says, While speaking to GQ, the Aussie actor reveals that some of his kids' friends watched the movie and gave him their feedback. It's a bunch of eight-year-olds critiquing my film. We thought this one had too much humour. The action was cool, but the VFX weren't as good, he recalls. I cringe and laugh equally at it. I think we just had too much fun. It just became too silly. It's always hard being in the centre of it and having any real perspective, he adds. I love the process, it's always a ride, but you just don't know how people are going to respond. As for his future as Thor, Hemsworth would only say that he's waiting to see what they have to offer creatively and if there is something new. Indeed, besides the two Spider-Man films, Far From Home and No Way Home, the MCU has been rudderless, in my opinion, since Endgame, and there's something quite, I think, postmodern about how the franchise has descended into meaninglessness and borderline self-parody at times. Thor Ragnarok was a straight-up comedy, and a much lighter film than the fairly bland and occasionally dreary Thor The Dark World, which isn't nearly as bad a movie as people make it out to be. At least it took itself seriously. The problem with injecting too much irony and rapid-fire cheap gags into a film is that it completely undercuts any sense of danger in the plot and seriousness, depth or meaning in the character's journey. No matter what the situation, no matter the seeming peril the hero could be facing, it doesn't matter. A silly joke is just a line or two away, completely diffusing the tension and undermining the audience investment in the story and the characters. This oversaturation of popular franchises in irony, comedy, and borderline farce is also evident in the likes of Star Trek. Lower Decks is an animated series that often gets praise from fans for the service it pays to canon. And that's commendable, I suppose. But the show is, ultimately, a Rick and Morty-inspired comedy based in the Star Trek universe. And Star Trek was never meant to be a comedy. There had been an animated series in the 1970s, and it was a faithful continuation of the original series, but a comedy it most certainly was not. I just can't watch Lower Decks, I'm sorry. No matter how many times people keep recommending it to me, every time I look at it, just a few seconds, I see characters screaming at each other, lots of dumb, lowbrow, Gen Z era humour, and far too much self-aware fourth wall breaking. I'm sorry I'm late, I was watching the first Enterprise on the holodeck, you know, Archer and those guys. What a story. Those guys had a long road getting from there to here. It descends from comedy into spoof all too often. And Strange New Worlds, while not a comedy, and of course it is live action, it's laced with too much unprofessional back chat from junior officers, and too much disrespect for the chain of command, but also too many cringe modern Hollywood jokes that make the characters just seem dumb. Hi. I would like the ship to go. Now. Oh boy. It's all so tiring, isn't it? Never seen a revolving door before. I'm from space. I think the writers may have forgotten something about Captain Kirk. No, I'm from Iowa. I only work in outer space. Don't get me wrong. Strange New Worlds has some decent episodes, and it's far better than Discovery, which is not exactly difficult. But I think my issue is, it feels like the writers and producers aren't taking these properties seriously. In the case of Star Trek, it's possibly because they simply don't believe in the franchise core philosophy as a highbrow, cerebral, utopian science fiction space opera. Which is why, like some of the MCU films, 
there appears to be a loss of conviction in the writing of these kinds of productions. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.